It's YouTube Wednesday. We are Venom. One new can. See what we can do. I find the turntable is very helpful. I also have a little fan on blowing the fumes away from me. That is helpful. If you can smell it, then change where your fan is. If you don't have a fan blowing the fumes away from you, you might die. If you don't have a fan blowing the fumes away from you and you still can't smell it, get checked out. Nothing but net. Okay, so when the foam comes out silky like this, it's an older can. That's what this tells me. And that tells me it's not gonna puff up as much. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's an older can. It should come out looking like whipped cream, not like silk. <laughs> Countdown. Five minutes. Three minutes. It also skins a lot faster because it's older. All of these cans have a date on the bottom. Look at the bottom of the can, it has a date on it. And uh, I try to get ones that are made this year. I'm using older stuff right now. Uh, you can see a difference in the product. Probably not for insulation purposes, but for uh, sculpting purposes, I see a difference. an old can, so it's skinning a lot faster than it should.
Most of these have a stage where they look a bit like a duck. And Venom has come into his duckitude rather early. So I have discovered that this stuff is like cooking fish. If it's sticking to the plastic, it's not ready to come up. Like if the fish sticks to the grill, it's not cooked. So you gotta let this stuff settle a bit. Just let it relax. I'm gonna put that right here though so I can reach it. time to get a little more defined there. This, this is older foam, so I can touch it almost instantly. And I want to show you, I have none on my hands. I've been touching all over this, but I only do it once it's ready and this older can is ready very fast. If you have it all over your hands, you are doing something wrong. So this jaw has to come further back. Back here, down and out again. I need this to harden up a good bit before I can do that. Now it's ready to come off of the plastic. If I cut it out just like that, I'd have the wrong eye. So I have to flip it over. Now I'll have the other eye. That was a close one. I think I have to move all that up. I hope no one thinks I have these all planned out like before and stuff. 
I assure you every time I'm just winging it. Tongue is getting there. Want that jaw behind where a pupil would be because I'm just looking at my reference. My jaw is nice way back here. This one could use a little more material. This foam actually gets very firm and it gets hard to cut. It's hard. Uh, it takes a little while though. Right now, while it's soft, I can get in here and get these cuts made. Hard part of this is remembering what you did to go back and fix it while you still can. So when you're doing stuff like this, when you have to be careful about fumes. So right now I'm cutting on this, I'm leaning on it, I could be breathing heavy. I just have to control my breathing. Breathe out here, allow the fan to blow any fumes away. Though there's significantly less off-gassing already. Guess what's gonna happen with this bust? We're gonna, we're gonna give it away. We're gonna give it away on Patreon. This is, it's like leather right now. This is very durable stuff.
Yeah, see how it's pearly? And you can touch it immediately without it getting on your fingers. It just comes out like clay. But kind of good, but kind of... Uh. Right to there. Now, prep my other ingredients. While I have the hot glue out, I might as well do some hot glue veins. He's got some veins I can see happening in my reference. Yeah. Now it looks like anti-venom. <laughs> now I got black undercoating because I didn't have the black spray paint that I wanted. I wanted the Rust-Oleum 2X, instead I'm going with black undercoating. When this dries, I will hit that with black, black. But that's a good base. For Venom, the texture works, you know? All right. I have black flex seal. I'm gonna give it a little coaty coat of that. This will give me the shine that I want. It is also blackity black, black, black. So I'll also give it a little bit of texture. Look at a little venomy, right? Having a gun that cools down quite a bit is a good way to go. Uh, I actually don't even mind that little bit of runoff that I'm getting because it looks like drool. Let's see if venom is drooly. It's very glistening here, so I'm going to call him drooly. Do a nice gum line with this. All right, let's 
get his eyes painted white. I love the translucency of the hot glue for gums. So then you paint over it, but you still get like it's this fatty flesh kind of look, which is really nice. Give that tongue a little more dimension. Nice, translucent brown movie paint is what it's called, but it's a translucent brown that I like for teeth. I also think it smells really good. This stuff also dries very fast. So this is one I probably never would have done without viewers commenting. But this was right after Frankenstein, Venom was the one that was uh, voted the most. I'm gonna change up the head of this brush by deforming it a bit. That's more what I want. Now I can take this, instead of leaving brush strokes, I just leave a texture. If you're doing this for texture, spin your brush while you're poking, because then or else you'll, you'll get a repeating pattern that's easy to catch. So kind of just twist it while you jab. All right, my eyes are plenty dry. I'm gonna use this as a mixing cup. I just have to tape over the holes in the bottom. I'm gonna use five minute epoxy. I happen to have this. Any type will work. That's, they're normally five minute epoxies, A, B. You mix them together, they're clear. I buy this type, it just comes in larger quantities and I use a lot of it. Pro tip, if you want a good mix, cut the end off of your popsicle stick because a round end will never get the corner of the, of the mixing cup. But this will fit right down into that corner and I can really get everything off the bottom and sides. These are always 50-50 as far as the mix. It really is five minute epoxy because that's how long you have. A little cooler tonight in here, so I might have a little more time. I'm only mixing up enough for one eye because I think that that's what I can do in the time I'm going to have that this material is viable. Real big night and day difference. as far as the amount of glossiness. Now this is gonna kick even faster because it already has kicking material inside of it. That first batch is still in there doing the work. The second batch is gonna borrow heat from that chemical exchange to kick faster. Anything I've got left, I'm going to put on the tongue.
This is clamped back up. It's glued back up with spray foam. The form is out of it, so now it's nice and hollow. Uh, and I'm going to give this time to dry. I'll take the clamps off, and we're done. Go make stuff.